It's interesting. I'm almost 82. Thinking back when I was a boy, growing up in North Dakota, riding a horse without a bridle and without a saddle, I felt so much in harmony with the horse and the hills and the rabbits that popped up and shook us almost off the horse several times. Then a little later I had a bigger horse and I rode to school many kilometers each way and all of the other kids rode horses. We often at noon would have horse rides and horse races. There was something about that dynamism being connected to the universe, being connected to the earth, that I remember today so vividly. And I remember my father. He grew up in a very poor family. He had to stop school at four years of fourth grade, sorry. And he wanted me to become something better. I was fortunate. I had, to, I had the opportunity to go to high school. I had the opportunity to go to a school, a university, and learn many things. But I also had the opportunity to be stationed in the U.S. Army in Berlin in 55, 56, and 57, and to begin to see what I had read about, about the World War II and about the remnants, the destroyed buildings and the attitudes of fear and so on that were so prevalent in East Germany at, even at that time. Since then, many years later, having been a teacher, working in many different universities, trying to help our youth our faculty, our government policymakers, our industrialists, to make a difference, to look at things in a more holistic way, look at a more preventative way. What are the problems and not how to control the pollutants, but how to prevent them? Presently, we've got an era where the kinds of neo-fascism of Hitler and Franco and Mussolini were so prevalent, they're coming back. And it worries me so much that that kind of fascism is destroying the trust, the confidence of people in the value of honesty, cooperation, communication, and the value of science is being destroyed by many, as it was during World War II, and as it was under Mao Zedong in China. This kind of swinging of the pendulum from a fascism, distrust, mistrust of science and technology and honesty to the other side. I hope we can do very, very much, and I hope you as youth of the nations can really make a difference. It is so important. It is so important. Please do.